Training will begin with reviewing and testing fleet functionality necessary for future missions. Citizens of the galaxy, welcome to actual Homeworld 3 gameplay. How many years have you been waiting to see actual, real Homeworld 3 gameplay? And you can see exactly what it is and how this game has been coming along. So first of all, thank you so much to Gearbox Publishing for sponsoring us today, flying me out to Gamescom to get you this early look at Homeworld 3. Click the link down below, it brings you straight to Steam and you can wishlist the game there. And it should be releasing February next year in 2024. Okay, now I know one thing you desperately want to know. So many people are upset about this horizontal mothership. Don't worry. Uh, there is this okay. button. There you go. Classic homeworld fans. <laughs> Vertical mothership is real. You can rotate it and play the mothership whichever direction you want. Uh, there is more to see. I'm going to show you so much more gameplay, but I think this is a very important point for you. Also, just in general, graphics, like you can go right up to the mothership like this and that's the resolution of the textures where you can go into the mothership and see the inside textures. So things, things are pretty textured in this game like it, it's hard to fault the graphics um like look even even at this zoom level how i it, okay so i do have to give huge props for the visuals and the ui particularly it's very accessible um there's plenty of hotkeys customizable hotkeys for everything and there's always a button on screen so i think you could actually play this game mouse only which is great for accessibility Anyway, let's get to some actual gameplay. Here we are. Okay, so this, this is actual Homeworld 3 gameplay. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Oh, you can actually see inside. Sizable incarnate forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Hagarin Command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. We must find and destroy the space. Wow, everything is textured. <laughs> Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. You ever wondered what the inside of these ships look like? You can actually just fly in and look at them. Anyway, here's actual gameplay. I'm going to play some of this so you can actually see what it's looking like. Um, this is Homeworld, but you can see there's a lot that's evolved from previous Homeworld games. The number one thing that I am happy about is that it actually has terrain now. Maps are like this. So they said basically what a lot of what used to be in the skybox is now actual in-world things, right? This is actual terrain. So if I go back, to, if I select that, you can see it actually recognizes this as terrain. And for those of you wondering, yes, all pro projectiles are ballistics Incoming physics simulated. Detected, ready for attack. Oh yes, we're gonna be attacked. I might have to restart this, but you know, all of this is uh, physically simulated. And if your ship is here and the enemy ship is on the other side, they can't shoot through this wall. So there's cover now, there's high ground now, there's little paths. If they have like some sniper, ion laser things which have long range well you could fly around here so that they don't have line of sight and then swarm down from on top to kill something terrain now plays a big part in homeworld 3. now we are actually going to be attacked here so let me just go ahead and train up some units here uh do i have i do have one resource collector go harvest resources please what units do we start with here uh we have five interceptors Okay, I'm gonna group them as group one. You guard my resource collector. They're gonna go salvage some RUs for us to train more stuff. So the, the objectives on these are tend to be randomized. Enemy forces are on the move. Combat alert, attack in progress. Oh, we can see some fighting going on here. All these projectiles are physically simulated. If they make contact, they do damage. It's not just an animation, they are physically simulated. And, I mean, that's, that's of course, kind of a necessity if they're going to make Homeworld 3. Oh, right, our main ship also. First mission is easier, so our carrier can. Hostile transports are moving into 
Intercept enemy transports will soon arrive at the marked locations. They must not be allowed to escape. Oh, okay. So we gotta go ahead and get that destroyed. Let's train up an assault frigate. Let's get like five attack bombers. And we gotta kill those things before... So the transport entry is here. Oh, they're spawning right here, I think. So let's move a bunch of our ships over there. Yes, fantastic. Good, good, good. So I think they enter there and they're escaping from somewhere else. Enemy units will spawn at these incursion points. Let's move our combat alert whole carrier over to here. And I'm gonna set our units to aggressive. No, let's 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 yeah. You go Delta. Be aggressive, please. Uh, okay. Oh. All right, uh, there are things to collect. This so, oh, there they are. That's what we have to destroy. Are they protected? I don't know. Uh, there's some stuff. Bomber construction complete. You know what? Let's just go attack them. <laughs> we should be okay. There's some defenses, but we should be okay, right? Oh, off they go. Yeah, we got to make sure they don't reach. Um, the escape point, right? The escape point is over there, so we have to make sure we send units over to kill them to as quickly as possible. Oh, in. we're encountering the enemy. Uh, that's a lot of defenses, actually. I'm <laughs> I might need to train up more. I didn't expect them to have quite so many. Let's train up more interceptors. Combat alert. Let's get more attack bombers. Uh, let's get some assault frigates. You know, and I think, you know, F7. Attack everything here. <laughs> Just destroy everything. Bomber complete. Like I can send my carrier over to help out as well. Okay, we're, we're making some headway on damaging them, but there's a lot of stuff here. My carrier is going to try help out because we can't let these transports escape. They move so quickly. We gotta get through this. Yes, 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 good. Uh, attack bombers specifically. Destroy that. Yeah, you guys chase them down. Chase them down. Let's make sure we keep going. Come on. Everyone, go go kill the transport ship. Bomber it complete. cannot escape. Target marked. We're inbound. Did uh target at long range. Adjust our resource controller got destroyed. <laughs> I forgot Combat to alert. Okay, so they did say the this convoy um uh, objective is the hardest one because currently so I did mention balances are still a little bit off so destroying this is very difficult because see how fast the transports move I think they will be rebalancing it so it moves slower we've barely destroyed one and they're definitely more than halfway towards the escape point but it's okay even if we lose even if we lose uh, we will still gain experience so losing is part of this Oh, we got one. Okay. Look how fast it moves. It's it's getting away. <laughs> Where even is our carrier? Carrier moves so slow. Look how slowly this thing moves. This is our home base. We can't keep up at all with that. So we just gotta... Uh, but I have to... If I don't train another resource controller... I collected an artifact which allows me to upgrade things. Um, <laughs> increase interceptor damage by 33%. Yeah, that's that's good, but I don't think we're gonna we're gonna be able to destroy this thing. They're so tanky. Combat alert. They either need to reduce the the health or speed of these transports for balance reasons. But that's okay. The, we're quite a few, like half a year, half a year away to release. So balances like that is is easy to do through some play tests. You know, small chance we actually win here. Let me. Do I have? I have a resource thing. Go collect resources. 
I will send this to guard my resource collector, I guess. Uh, we can't keep up with it. I think it actually moves faster than... I mean, it's because we have to fight through everything else, right? So we have to kill all this stuff guarding it. Oh, we collected another artifact. It, the artifacts are scattered around the map. They are marked. I am just happen to be flying through them. Um, strike craft support system... Uh, by the way, these upgrades, they last through the three missions. The escape part is right there. It tried to... it tried to juke me. You see, it tried to go down this little corridor and then up here, so I couldn't just get it straight. Uh, we, we were actually so close to destroying it, but maybe I was a little slow on starting up because I was talking. But, you know, that that's a lesson to learn in this game mode. You don't just win every time. If you win the first time on the hardest objective, then... Yeah, it's because I've only got interceptors. I don't really have bombers left. Um, where are these? Yeah, these things. Oh, we failed. Enemy forces will soon overwhelm you. It is time to move on. Uh, okay, okay. So typically, typically that would be the end of the run. But because of this... Oh, no, it is the end of the run. Oh, no, defeat. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Okay, let's try that again. The The... Objectives are randomized, so let's hope we don't get that one first time. By the way, here would be a good point to mention a few things they brought up during the presentation of this uh, Homeworld 3 demo. Uh, first of all, here we are on the landing page, and look, I mean, I, I, I was actually... Okay, the one thing I was unexpectedly blown away by is the sleekness of the UI. It's... It's a very sleek, isn't it? Um, but this is what we're showing off for gameplay, the War Games Alpha. So this this is uh, in development build, so it's not finished, but I don't know, I didn't find any problems really. Maybe some balance issues, but no real bugs so far in my testing. Alpha War Games is a co-op or solo uh, sort of mini skirmish campaign. It tends to be three missions, and it can be different objectives, different maps, and you can play in up to three-player co-op and uh, in multiplayer. Or if you want a challenge, you can do it yourself. Right now, I'm not doing multiplayer, so I'm just going to create a custom lobby, and we are the gamers. Uh, let's make it private and create a lobby. So I can actually uh, get into some gameplay for you. One thing you might be interested in is the customization of your uh, faction. So this uh, this uh, Homo 3 has two factions, which are basically the main faction and the evil faction. You know how it is. But there's also some there's an anomaly that's destroying the galaxy or something. But I don't know too much about the story yet. But when you get to customizing your faction in these custom games, you can pick your emblems, you know, for all sorts of things. You can make it any color you like. Absolutely any color. Like, you can go for... Yeah, let's, let's do that. There we go. Confirm that color. Set ship colors. We can make them... Oh, it reflects right there as well. So, let's do this. Fantastic stripes. So stripes a different color. Oh yeah, stripes are a different color. Let's do this as well. So we can make this... Uh, there. Black and... Oh, that's that's nice. Okay, emblem. Can we... I don't suppose they have a snake. <laughs> Not really a... Uh, a thing that exists in space, but... Uh, let's, let's, let's be a bit... Let's just be a bit more traditional. Let's, let's just go for some stripey wings. Okay, good. There are, of course, fleet presets if you want to be a specific uh, faction. Anyway, save. So that's who we are. Gamer Zach. Nice colors there. Right now, only strike craft fleet can be chosen, but this... So this War Games mode has player progression. You go through the missions, and whether you win or lose, your account gets uh, experience, and you unlock other things. Now, I don't want you to freak out, but that sort of makes it a bit of a roguelite, but don't worry, it doesn't, it's, it's not, you know, to increase your playtime or anything like that. It's, it's actually, it makes sense. It's, it's sort of a slight evolution of the skirmish mode. 
Besides what I've already mentioned, modding. Modding is a big question from the community, and yes, modding will be allowed. Uh, they are, Gearbox are partnering up with mod.io, and you can customize the Unreal assets, maps, ships, and some modding tools will even be provided on release of Homeworld 3, and they will work on the Steam version or the Epic version. Uh, because it's going to be built into the game. It's not just going to be a Steam Workshop modding scene, it's going to be a general modding scene. So Homeworld 3 will have mods. All right, let's ready up and go back into the game, and we'll see if we can do a little bit better this time, yeah? All right, here we go. Let's build this up immediately. Let's get a bunch of stuff. Yes, yes, let's uh, go select our resource controller. Uh, you go harvest resources. They are pushing further into friendly space. I Tagari should set suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Some units engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations to guard my resource collector. Destroy this base. Very good. Let's also get enemy like... forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. There we go, yes, okay. There's, there's enemies attacking immediately. That's why we gotta defend our resource collector. That's only uh, understandable, right? Hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Okay, so things are gonna get dicey right about here. We're spending all our resources. Okay, doing it properly this Research time. Complete. So you can see there are some pop limits here. We can have eight assault frigates. We can have eight ion cannon frigates. Generally, you're not gonna have money to, to max everything out anyway. Group one designated. Okay, good. I'm gonna have you as group two. So group, group one, group two. Designated. Units can ex exist in multiple control groups, so no worries there. I just have to make sure we train up enough stuff. So sometimes the objectives are secure capture assault points. Frigate ready for action. Ooh, an assault frigate. Very good. Let's get another one. I don't know if we'll be able to afford it, but sure. There we go. Big ship out the front. Receiving. Good. Also, yeah, I didn't show it off so much last time. There is still this tactical view, so you can see how everything's working. Very good. Okay, we are still gathering resources. Combat alert. Yes, I think. Assault frigate ready for action. Yes, we are harvesting this stuff. These are used. Another assault frigate. Very nice. Group one reinforced. Okay. Enemy preparing to attack. Oh, so Ops. Collectors are out. Materials on ticket coming. We're gonna be attacked, I think. Oh, there we go. Value hostile transports are moving into system. It's the hostile Defend transports. And destroy before they can hyperspace out. Okay. Enemy transports will soon arrive at the marked locations. They must not be allowed to escape. Very good. So I'm gonna send units that way immediately. I don't really have Uh, I don't really have much resources for anything else, so I think I'll just maybe grab some of these units Group one, reinforced. to add them in. Okay, good. Let's make sure you guys are just group two now. Okay. Group two, reinforced. All right, I want you to be aggressive, delta formation. We got the same objective, but let's see if we can do it better this time. Okay, let's head straight to the transport entry. They have to go over this terrain. Off they go. They're in formation. Big ships at the front. Let's get another assault frigate. Can I... Let's move my carrier up to here and have you set as aggressive as well. If I get my carrier up here, we might be able to do a bit more fighting. Okay, I think they've spawned. Okay, we gotta focus on killing these things. Let's kill this immediately. Oh, that's that's all there. Okay, that's a lot to kill. Enemy strike craft 
Okay, let's see if we can do it. We gotta get rid of all of these units first. Oh, they do so much damage. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this one. Let's make sure we keep this up. Assault frigate ready for action. Okay, let's bring you along. Okay, good. We gotta destroy this thing, please. Okay, this one's already half health. Good. Is it anything useful right now? Yes, roll up upgrade. Are they going underneath? So we gotta go underneath. We can't shoot them from above. You see, this this ship is now separated from our targets. We can't shoot them. Come on, destroy this. Okay, we got one. We got one. See? Doing better already. I think it's dead. Yeah, should be dead. There we go. Yes! Die. See, it is possible. I just I just wasted way too much time last time. <laughs> just need to train up the assault frigates. Yes, yes. Just keep chasing it down. There we go. We're dealing the damage. Our frigates are... I think our frigates move at the same speed as the transports, and that's why the frigates struggle to catch up. Assault frigate ready for action. Yeah, keep going. Let's lose the formation. Keep you aggressive. No, no, no. Keep chasing, keep chasing. That's me messing with the formations. Destroy that thing. At least our frigates do follow up and kill enemy units. Come on, it's almost dead. How much health does it have? Just like a thousand. Kill it. Yes. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Okay, we got another artifact. Uh, ooh, does that stack? It might stack. Very good. We got another one. Frigate support system. Yep, that's what we want. Uh, I think that stacks, so let's do that. And let's initiate hyperspace to go to the next mission. Now we can hang around to collect more resources and train more units, but I'm already in a bad position, so let's escape. <laughs> oh, chasing down those transports is tough, but you, it's only one. Another objective is capture points, and quite often it gives you like three different capture points, but um, you know, that, See, we got the same objective again, but we did okay. And look, we keep our fleet. We keep our fleet. And everyone's repaired, I'm pretty sure. Yes, everyone's repaired. Okay, good. So, do we... Did I lose my... Enemy vessels will be closing in on our location. Gather available resources and stand by for an objective from command. Oh no, did I lose my resource controller? And I don't have enough resources to <laughs> build a resource controller? <laughs> oh no, um, I overspent, I overspent, oh no, that's my bad. Uh, Hyperspace signatures detected, enemies inbound, prepare I, for attack. I've actually killed myself. I didn't realize I was overspending and I didn't have enough resources to train another resource controller. Oh well, it, it's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll go again, I'll go again. Don't worry, I'll do better this time. A civilian convoy has been attacked and scattered throughout the area. Locate and rescue all civilian vessels. Oh, okay, there we go. So restarting, we, uh, this is a good opportunity to show off a new objective. We just have to rescue uh, these, uh, like, lost people. And they're, they're sort of... Um, 
uh, stuck at these capture points. Also, I should mention that this is particularly difficult because this is supposed to be a co-op experience. I'm supposed to have one or two other people playing with me. So when we were doing the demo, it was a co-op experience and I had someone with me. <laughs> so you can split your efforts or combine your efforts to do certain things. Playing just by yourself, you do have to go a little bit slower and it's just generally gonna be much more difficult. So I'm gonna train up a bit more Combat units alert. here. Uh, and I'm using my carrier to defend my resource controller, right? So let's actually move it up a little bit to properly defend uh, my resource controller. Also a nice thing here, just so you know it does actually work, that when you train units and you don't give them commands, they just go along with the carrier. It's not like when the carrier is moving across space, um, a unit's trained and it's just abandoned in the middle of space. It does follow the carrier until you give it other commands. Right? So that's that's something to note. You see, they actually engage in combat, then come back and, you know, they, they get back into this sort of stationary formation, right? So right now, these are set to guarding my resource controller. Uh, meanwhile, we can take a bit more time here because we just have to rescue a certain point. That there's no uh, time limit besides the enemy, like, constantly attacking us. So that's something we have to take into consideration. The longer we hang around, the more trouble it's going to be. So I'm just going to train up a few more ships here. Um, and let's see, where, where would the enemy... So incursion points right now is just in front of us. Combat so we should, be, we should be pretty defended. And we're securing all of these resources. Okay, so... Assault frigate ready for this, action. This is going to be my assault force. Yeah, there's three capture points we have to get here. Yeah, so this is going to be our group one. Group one assigned. Group one assigned. And you can see everything is on screen as well. See, group one, all the groups are down here. You can hide this if you don't want it there. Bring it up. Everything is mouse controllable if you, like, so desire. So we got four assault frigates and a bunch of interceptors. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to set them to aggressive stance. And I'm going to head over to that rescue point. We should be able to do some good work here. Let's go rescue this. So capturing a point is somewhat more... Like, they can interrupt the capture if they come and contest it. But four assault frigates should be good. You... Oh, I think we... It's okay. Let's, let's focus on this. Okay. This this looks like I sh oh we lost like one ship immediately. Please engage. Kill everything here. <laughs> Start shooting back. Okay. Interceptor is away. Interceptor is away. These units can, by the way, be upgraded as well. There are upgrades. You know, boost damage research. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, how about assault frigate? What's their upgrade? Dodge ability. I'm never going to press that button anyway. <laughs> Support frigate. Right now, it is a bit too expensive. Okay, we're decapturing, then we have to capture it. Well, there's still some enemies around. What, what is that? Plasma corvettes. Okay. I think our assault frigates are, are doing well. Yes. This, come around this this look how detailed this thing is <laughs> like if you zoom in on anything it just looks so detailed okay one saved where's the next one has it been revealed yet? oh there it is let's pull back so this one's easier because it's right where we are Oh, this resource point has almost depleted. So we probably want to... I probably want to stock up on resources. The area is clear of resources. Please advise. Where's the nearest safe resource point? Are we doing okay? Interceptor launching. I think we're doing okay. This resource controller... Probably don't go over there to collect those resources, it's not safe. 
I will definitely I'm lose my resource now. control. Oh, there's so many enemies. In that case, I think I can... I don't need to defend my resource controller anymore. Everyone, come back here, please. Just group up around this. The 3D space takes some getting used to if you've never played a homeworld game. So at this point, yeah, it's contested, so we can't capture it until we clear the enemies. F7. F7 selects all military units. <laughs> Everyone group one. Uh, you as well. Just join up over here. Uh, can I set the resource controller to guard the carrier? That should mean the resource controller follows the carrier around. Oh, enemies' attacks are increasing, but I think we're gonna do this. There we go. Captured. And there's the last one over there. Can I just send my carrier over that way? Ready, set. They gonna leave me alone now? Oh, kill that guy. Fleet, assault go. frigate is critical. Okay. Let's send everyone over. Set. Last objective. I could send the smaller ships back for reinforcements, but nah. Enemy forces will soon overwhelm you. It is time to move on. Well, we gotta. Those plasma corvettes. Are they right here? Can we kill these guys? Wipe them out. Oh, they're coming up the rear as well. Corvette destroyed. Okay, I'll go over there and kill everyone there. I want you all to be aggressive. Go for ETO. Blast everything in range. Blast everything in range. Okay, here we go. Last rescue point. <laughs> uh, there are so many enemies just defending it. It's fine, it's fine. We're even bringing our carrier over. This first mission, it's it's safe to to do this, to bring the carrier over. Combat alert. Kill that guy. In position and standing by. Understood. Come on, kill. Stop contesting. There's like one enemy Not unit here. Adjusting attack pattern. Confirmed. Enemy corvette destroyed. Okay. Say again. We've got a carrier over here as well, so we're fine. Copy. Final objective. Capturing this point. Contested? Who's here? Oh, there we go. Decapturing. Assault frigate is on location. I think our assault frigates are all fine. Four assault frigates, pretty good. And we do still have our resource controller and 3,000 resources. Come on, don't contest. They're going underneath? Oh, they're... They're contesting from underneath. Come on, come on. Almost. Ten seconds. I just don't want to lose any units. Okay, okay. We're whittling them down. They're whittling us down. We still have four assault frigates. Only six interceptors left. But yeah, assault frigates are pretty good, huh? Yes, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And there we go. 
New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Let's do that. Heavy bomber upgrade. Ooh, let's do that. Initiate hyperspace. Let's get out of here. Time to escape. There we go. And look, we still have a resource controller. Hopefully that, that does survive to the next mission. We kind of need it. Okay, here we go. Beamed in. So, you begin collecting resources. It's going to be over there. Let's select everyone. Enemy vessels will be closing in on our location. Gather available resources and stand by for an objective from command. I'm going to send everyone to guard our resource controller because that's going to be essential. But let's also replenish our interceptor fleet. Let's spend... Let's just max that out. <laughs> Uh, assault frigates are really good, huh? Let's get another one. Signatures detected. Enemies inbound. Prepare for attack. Okay. Let's go set up camp around these resources. Yep, it's defended. Well, let's select all our units. See what we got. Ready for action. Okay. Four interceptors left? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, we're setting up here. This is quite a lot of resources. There's some up there as well. So I think just being around here will help defend. Like we should probably set up Receiving. between the two. Alright, let's bring the carrier up there as well. Between these two resource nodes, that way we can defend them both together. We've got a fifth assault frigate. Should I get more? I'm getting a lot of interceptors. Let's get another. Okay, good. This way our carrier can defend the resource controller and... Can I actually move this resource controller up and then collect from this side? Because I feel a bit safer that way. Because it'll be right by the carrier. High value civilian transports are moving into system. Provide escort to the extraction point. You must move your carrier into position in order to escort the civilian vessels. Move our carrier into position? Oh no, I, got, I gotta move the carrier? Okay, fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll take a bunch of you. You're gonna guard the carrier. Understood. Moving to escort. And you're gonna we're gonna move the carrier into position. Resource operations online. Uh, let's. Oh, we gotta leave a few things back here. Where do you want us lead? You. Okay. I'm gonna set you to group one. You're defending the carrier. Our resource controller almost got destroyed already. Because we have to move. Oh, they're targeting my resource controller. No, 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 no. Say Please don't die. Oh, we lost our resource controller. Can I cancel these? <laughs> oh, that's... Oh. Well... Well, we're kind of screwed anyway, so let, let's just try and do as much as we can here. Let's defend our carrier. Okay. So, we're kind of screwed, because I overspent a game. <laughs> but let, let's, let's do this objective. Enemies will try to intercept. Okay, so we're escorting... These. So I guess we just guard them. Yeah, these missions are way harder when you're playing solo. Wait, they move so fast. They move way faster than my carrier. Down. Awaiting orders. 
Well, that's a problem. Uh, let's send all of our ships. <laughs> so remember, this is an early build, so not everything is perfectly balanced or anything like that. Um, so obviously, telling the carrier to escort the escorts is a bit weird, considering our carrier moves at like a quarter of their speed. But it's okay, we got interceptors and stuff to escort them. They're being shot from the back here. Ready to copy. Strike ready. Shoot down at them. There we go. We can shoot from behind them. Okay, okay. I think their interceptors are coming from the back, so we're actually doing okay here. Enemy Corvette hit and neutral. Frigates are pretty good versus these smaller ships. Down. So because the shots are physics, like simulated, you can actually do evasive maneuvers. Objective complete. Oh, we Your did it. Enemies will continue to arrive until you <laughs> decide to move on to the next mission. Okay, I did it. Um, well, we kind of screwed anyway, but let's look at the third map. Let's initiate hyperspace. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> I really need to learn how to defend my resource collect. I should just build a second one. Why am I not building a second one? I should just have more than one. Why do I do this? Ugh. Anyway, I'm here to show you the gameplay, so that, that's the important thing. Even if I'm not... Well, if you think you can do better, you can you can do better. <laughs> oh, we got some stuff. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Incarnate forces massing at this progenitor production facility. Okay. They are using this as a forward base of operations to attack Hagar in space. It must be destroyed. Well, destroy the three enemy production bays. As long as the bays are functional, they will be able to provide reinforcements to the enemy. Well, um, I'm definitely going to lose this, but... Oh, different types? Right. Well, um, I'm, I'm already screwed myself here. And as you can see, this is clearly a co-op mission where there's three very different things to go for. And they have different, uh, you know, one is energy weapons, one is anti-armor, one swarm. So what you want to do in a co-op mission is, okay, I'll go handle the swarm one over there. You go handle the anti-armor one over there. And then we'll combine up on the third one, you know, that sort of thing, right? But, um... Yeah, let's just Group one, reinforced. control one. Aggressive. Let's go. <laughs> the swarming sounds like something I might actually be able to win because I have all of these um, assault frigates. The assault frigates are gonna help with dealing with the swarm. The others, we probably won't survive, but we'll give it a shot. Let's fly on over to the rapid response fleet with everything we've got and see how many we can kill. If I can capture one of these, I'm gonna be happy. Are those all enemies? No. Okay, they're not spawned yet. I'm just gonna try and rush B. <laughs> As you say. Let's get rid of the build menu. We're not building anything. Um, yeah, we're not researching anything either. I mean, I, I really should have just... Should have just uh, built another one when I had the chance. I didn't think the enemy would try and snipe my resource collector, but you know that's that's actually the best tactic, isn't it? Kill the resource collector. It's so huge. Okay, well it's fine. It's fine. All right, they should start spawning as soon as we get close, right? Attack in progress. So they should be spawning about now. It does feel like they timed it that if you try and rush a point, it does get to an attack in progress. Someone should be rushing towards us from one of the incursion points, I think. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Strike ready. 
Let's start killing. Fire mission confirmed. Buckle up. Enemy corvette on air. Okay, okay. Good shot. Critical hit. What the battles look like in this view. Oh yeah, okay. Corvette destroyed. Corvette destroyed. That's them, right? <laughs> they have corvettes, I have interceptors. Decapturing 45 seconds. Jeez. Everyone group up here. Even the carrier. Where's our carrier? It's lagging behind. It's really slow. It's being chased down. <laughs> this one guy. Oh, these two guys. It's like a couple pirates coming for my carrier. Look at this. I think I can actually... I can hide the... Can I select? Hold on. Can I select that. Can I follow. Hide. Oh, there we go. Cinematic mode. Two pirates coming for my carrier. <laughs> oh, we managed to decapture. Oh, it's gonna start taking shots. Can we shoot back? Okay. He he took some pot shots and and they turned around. <laughs> All right. Well. I guess they're abandoning their assault. Here's our carrier. Oh, it does look really good. I think we're actually going to capture one point here. Oh, I should mention graphically, there is ray tracing, but I have it off right now just in case this it starts like burning my computer. Uh, but ray tracing is currently off, though it is available. Okay, we, we captured a point. I can't believe it. I mean, objective complete. All right, let's all head down there. Oh, but now we're going to be intercepted all along the way. All right, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. So this is this is why, I mean, this, this game mode doesn't require you to always be resource collecting. You can, for example, build up a massive fleet on the first mission and just go through the missions with the massive fleet. All right, we actually, strangely, have a chance here. I'm not confident of winning, but I feel like we we might be able to do, we, well, we got some progress. We shut down one, one of these things. Our oh, resources, could do with those. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta clear this up. Otherwise they'll be chasing us from the back. These assault frigates, they're so good. Now, of course I don't know how the balance is gonna be when this game releases. They just, yeah, they just got a lot of these assault corvettes, plasma corvettes. Oh, there we go. Let's keep going. Surgical strike fleet is down there. Oh, we're under attack. Our carrier's under attack. Can you kill these by yourself? Hostile Corvette neutralized. Go for assault. Let's set you guys to guard the carrier. Keep the carrier moving. Okay, we gotta make sure our carrier doesn't blow up because if the carrier blows up, we lose. Ready to copy. Beat has entered combat. Uh, done. Okay. You do that. Let's go back here. Okay. Okay. Carrier health seventy-five percent. That's not so good. Two frigates came back to defend. Oh, they have a frigate? Oh, no. They're building the units I'm building? That's unfair. <laughs> Carrier keep running. Yep. Hanging out around these incursion points is very dangerous. Okay, so how how is this going? Oh, they got a lot of stuff. They got a beam frigate. 
beam frigates. Oh, these are the energy weapons they were talking about. Where are our frigates? Oh, they're just coming down now. Interceptor reads. Group one reinforced. Okay, our frigates might be able to take out the beam frigates. As long as the beam frigates keep trying to shoot the small units. Well, there we go. How's our carrier? Our frigates are also still following. Yes, very good. Surgical strike fleet. Ooh, there we go. The explosions are so glorious. Even small things just explode. I guess nothing's really small. All of these are actually really huge things, right? Enemy frigate destroyed. Enemy frigate destroyed. Decapturing. Anyone coming? Well, we are under attack from here, but our frigates should defend that. Okay, we're actually capturing a second point. Send message. Send message. I should actually, where's the third point? Probably should start moving up. How do I wanna, uh, I can do that to adjust height, but I know moving in 3D space is always kind of Difficult. You know what? Let's. Okay, we're capturing in 30 seconds. I guess I can just send my carrier to start moving there already. Carrier comms open. Is anyone coming? I think we're doing okay. Enemy frigate engaging. Enemy frigate engaging? Oh, they're contesting down here? Ah, oh, that's annoying. What is it? A multi-beam fr- two- a multi-beam frigate? Contact. Kill it. Move complete. I don't know, kill it, kill it, kill it, stop- stop it from lasering. No lasers allowed. Wait, I'm, are we firing lasers? I don't know. None of that, stop that. Kill these, please. Send transmission. Are we? Bring it down. Maybe we. I'm gonna stop my carrier right there. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's so much. Oh, that's so much stuff. Uh, keep going. <laughs> oh, we we might be kind of screwed here. That's so much stuff. That's so much stuff. Oh no. Uh, this this might be the end. Um, I didn't realize they they gathered up that much stuff. Our two frigates are gonna have a time. We will capture this though, hopefully, unless someone shows up and starts contesting. Corvette destroyed. Great. Now the rest of you make it to the force projection fleet. Can we try dodge? Oh, they're actually turning around. Let's go around the right side. Around these walls. Yeah, we'll head right. You can see they actually got out of sight range there. So they actually don't know we're here. Okay. We're now gonna head over to here, to the force projection fleet. It's coming into view. Target acquired. I probably should stop my carrier from getting too close. And then join the fight about now. Now, we might not survive this one. This is the final point we have to attack, but I'm bringing my carrier in to help out as well. We gotta kill all of this. Ooh, that's... What, what is... What is that? That is... An incarnate destroyer. Okay. Everyone, kill everything. Let's get our two frigates in on this as well. Carrier, you're also helping out. 
the two frigates. Maybe you focus on that incarnate destroyer, which is shooting us right now. So let's retreat away from it. Oh, it's so hard to kill. Are we? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they, they came up behind. They came from behind. No. We've lost a carrier. Oh, we, we couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well oh we leveled up huh okay new tenacity artifact bomber fleet starting fleet with bonuses to bomber and torpedo frigates okay reconnaissance fleet precision artifact strike craft fleet oh so we got different fleets now to play with uh well that there we go. I mean, uh, <laughs> I suppose that's fine. We did we did pretty good, right? We did pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at this. We can now start with reconnaissance fleet or bomber fleet. You know, so that there's other ways to start. But that's good, right? That's a great look at Homeworld 3. Now, I know a lot of you have been concerned and curious about Homeworld 3. And this, this is a good look at it. It's actual gameplay. It's me playing, you know, it's it's not just cinematics or machinimas or anything like that. It's actual gameplay so we can see what it's like. So we haven't seen the campaign, but, you know, the campaign would play out like that. A tutorial plus the, the co-op slash solo, if you want a challenge, um, game mode, right? That's pretty good, right? The war games still need some rebalancing of speeds and damages and stuff like that. But yeah, I did play a co-op, uh, like two of us played uh, a, a, a game earlier and we did manage to win. It is much easier when there's two of you playing in the co-op mode. But if you are really good, you can do it solo as well. And the player progression is individual. So there's this nice little player progression tied in with the co-op slash skirmish mode which is the war games, right? All right, anyway, that is what we have right now for Homeworld 3. If you have any questions, please do ask. I will get the answers as best as I can. There's a lot to wonder about, um, but yeah. Thank you so much to Gearbox Publishing for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and that it answered a bunch of your questions. Thank you all for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.